and it's gone on far too long. My name is Susana Ramirez, and I am undocumented. I have reached a point in my life where I no longer say the word with shame or fear. At the age of seven, I was identified as an illegal alien by primetime news and social media. All those who called me an illegal alien dehumanized me, and I too began to dehumanize myself. In believing that I was worthless and truly an alien. At the age of nine, I recall reading text messages from my mother's phone, warning her of not driving down certain roads where raids were occurring and all those caught would get deported. Shortly thereafter, I became an expert at identifying police cars from a certain distance away, not because they were a symbol of protection, but because they endangered the very existence of my family in the United States. At the age of 16, I was informed that the top five public universities in Georgia would not accept my college application because I was undocumented. The remaining universities and colleges would charge me out-of-state tuition, triple the rate of in-state tuition for being undocumented. To Georgia, my academic merit is not valid when I do not have a legal status. Therefore, at 18, I did not go to college, but I went to Freedom University, a modern underground school for undocumented students. Freedom University continued my education and reaffirmed my inherent human rights, not dependent on which side of a man-made border I was behind or my legal status. But Freedom University also made out of me a passionate activist and social worker. I was not surprised to learn that the five public universities that denied me admission today denied admission to African American students in the 1960s. And lastly, Freedom University also gives me the opportunity to join you here today, where for a few hours I witness the humanity that the world seems to have lost. Let us all join together in building hope so that she can find it again.